Patrick, long time no see. It's been like 12 hours, by the way. But in that time, you have the outlook. What are we looking at for, I don't know, maybe the first three months of next year? Well, Brian, some good news on the totality of 2023. Consumer is going to spend close to $50 billion less on fuel, we project, in 2023. But as you mentioned, gas prices right now hovering at some of the lowest levels in 18 months. We could drift a little higher into the new year as China starts to reopen their economy. More oil consumption likely occurring, that pushing oil prices up. Uh, oil prices next year likely to be a little bit lower than what we saw this year. But again, for consumers, the yearly national average next year in 2023 likely to be 50 cents a gallon or so below 2022. So that's going to amount to about $50 billion that sticks in Americans' wallets that they don't have to worry about spending. If it sticks, Patrick, what happens if the China reopening pushes oil and gasoline prices higher again? Well, certainly part of China reopening is a factor in our forecast, but the biggest factor likely is a boost in refining capacity, not so much in the U.S. where we're going to add close to 280,000 barrels of refining capacity as ExxonMobil's Blade project opens this year, but more so refining capacity coming online in Africa, Asia, the Middle East, that will provide badly needed diesel and gasoline supplies in the months ahead. Right, so I guess the question is, Again, does if we see there are sort of two big possibilities for next year, and, and Bob Bassani talks about this a lot. He's like, I know people who have forecasts of one hundred and twenty dollar a barrel oil, and I know people who have forecasts of sixty dollar a barrel oil. Are we just going to have to be beholden to that? In, in other words, if the worst case scenarios don't pan out and China comes online, then all of a sudden oil spikes again. And if not, and we're going into a recession, well, then I guess you have the uh, the answer there. Yeah, certainly a lot in, in store with China reopening. I think they're going to go through what we saw here in the United States, that is COVID cases could surge into the spring, and that could keep oil prices under some selling pressure for the next couple of months until they get up that under wrap. Now, of course, Russia producing and exporting oil is key a key element to this as well. As long as those exports continue to countries like uh, India and China and Turkey, that could keep oil prices under pressure. But if China suddenly um, reemerges at full force here in the next couple of months, then we could see certainly upside risk in oil prices mm. tri uh, hitting the triple digits yet again. So that combined with OPEC plus policy are going to be the key elements driving prices. And there certainly could be some upside risk if the uh, optimistic situations pan out with China. But certainly I don't see it. I think we'll see a slow reopening. COVID cases will surge. And that could keep Chinese demand a little bit less uh, going into the summer months.